All right, guys, I'm back. And I want to give you an apology because my last video regarding the uh, DJI RavenEye compatibility with the uh, DJI Ronin SC was a little misleading. No, it does not work for ActiveTrack. You cannot use ActiveTrack with the DJI um, RavenEye with the Ronin or the Ronin SC. It does not work. However, a couple of people commented in the video saying that the instructions say you can actually use the Raven Eye with your camera uh, to use your phone or tablet as a second screen or a monitor. And you can also use the, um, the Raven Eye with the Ronin SE for some functions. So let's just check this out live, man. I've been playing around with this for about two hours and I cannot get it to work. I have a Sony, um, Sony set of cameras. So this is the A6400, the camera that you're looking at that I usually use this with, the the, uh, the Ronin and the, uh, the Raveneye, that is the 6600. So two of the latest uh, models of Sony cameras uh, will not work this way. So what I have is the Ronin SC here, right? Let me turn it on, let me get it all booted up. The Raven Eye is already on. And what I have, uh, let me show you. All right, so hopefully you can see it there. Can you see it in the camera? Let me force it. All right, so I have the HDMI plugged into the, I have the HDMI cable plugged into the Raven Eye, and then I have the RSS cable plugged into the radio, um, into the Raven Eye. Oops, let me turn those motors off. And I have the RSS cable plugged into the camera from the rating of Raven Eye, as well as the HDMI plugged into the camera. So it's just direct communication from the Raven Eye to the camera. This is actually how the instructions from the um, from the uh, the manual from the Raven Eye tell you to hook things up. So that is literally just a connection to the Raven Eye uh, to the camera. So that will work. So I'm gonna show you right now, let me turn on my motors and we're gonna go down here to my tablet. Let me open this bad boy up and I will show you where, okay. So right now it wants me to connect to the DJI Ronin S2, but we don't want to. So man, I guess I gotta take everything. You know what, let's just go here first. It says connect to the Ra Raven Eye. All right. So. This is it, man. You're looking at behind the camera. <laughs> Let me flip this around. Uh-oh. All right, so this is me. Man, a big old <laughs> image of myself. <laughs> okay, so yes, it does work. Okay, yeah, everything's working, man. You're seeing me, seeing you, seeing me, and we're all intimate with each other because this is huge on this screen. This is very useful. And as you can see, there is, man, I'm gonna go ahead and say no latency. I don't see anything that my, lazy eyes can recognize. I'm not seeing any latency here. Do y'all, are y'all seeing this? I'm not seeing nothing. I'll figure out how to put this in the video once it's over, but I'm not seeing any latency with this. Uh, so it does work. Um, it works a lot better. If you have a Sony camera and it does that mirroring stuff, you mirror to your phone or tablet through the uh, the camera app from the, from Sony, it's okay. It is okay. It, it's acceptable. But if you want like real time good stuff, man, this is where it's at. The Raven Eye is a useful tool. 130 to $150 worth of a, uh, a tool. I don't know. It kind of depends because if you went out and bought a monitor, you're probably going to pay about that much, possibly more when all you need is a phone or a tablet and you could have just, you know, spent 150 bucks on the Raven Eye. So that could be a good case scenario to spend that kind of money. But um, if you, I don't know, <laughs> it's about 130 to $150 as a separate purchase to use it as a monitor. That's pretty much what I'm doing right here. Now, in order to control the gimbal itself, uh, you're not gonna have this function. The camera is not connected to the gimbal at all and nor is the Raven Eye. Neither one of those is connected to the gimbal. So there's no communication from gimbal to camera right now or gimbal to Raven Eye. Now, let me back out of this. What I'm gonna do now is I have to turn off the Raven Eye because it says it's still connected. So I'm gonna turn it off. Let me get you in here a little closer. All right, so the Raven Eye is disconnected. Now, I get to connect to a gimbal because when you're connected to the Raven Eye, the only options it gives you right here is to connect to the Ronin, uh, the DJI RS2 or the DJI RSC2. That's the only options you get to connect to a gimbal while the Raven Eye is connected. When you disconnect from everything, you get all of your Ronin options here, Ronin 2, Ronin S, Ronin SC, and so forth. So let's go ahead and connect to the Ronin SC, connect to gimbal, 
and there's my gimbal right there and it connects really fast and just to show you that I am connected let's go into create and I will do um, let's do let's do the uh, the virtual joystick okay so right now can you see it swiveling uh oh it says shutter cable disconnected because there's nothing connected to it but the the gimbal itself is operating i am connected to the gimbal gimbal via the app now let me do something real quick i'll disengage the motors i'm gonna shoot all this live so y'all can see i ain't messing with nothing man this is it's kind of hard to shoot live <laughs> all right the motors motors are disengaged now i'm gonna take uh let's take the rss cable from the raven eye uh well, we know, we already know if I take the RSS cable from the camera and plug it into the back of the gimbal, that's just how it's supposed to work, right? Let me see if I can record. Okay, it looks like I am recording. Record does work. So you can control the gimbal with the, the standard. Once you have this RSS cable plugged into the, the uh, from the camera to the gimbal, it does work as intended, the old school way. But now, as soon as we incorporate the Raven Eye, I, there's nothing. I can't, uh, let me see here. <laughs> let me try. I'm just trying different scenarios with you guys per the instructions. So if I take, let me disengage the motors. If I take the cable out of the camera uh yeah we have to we can't yeah we have to take the cable out of the camera now i have to do a usb-c to usb-c connection to uh from the gimbal to the raven eye and let's see what happens there i've already tried this none of this actually works i just wanted to uh, show you here so <laughs> so let's open up the tablet all right and let's see if we can go back and see if that Raven Eye will show up on the app. So once you're connected to the gimbal itself on the app, you see there is no option here to connect to the Raven Eye. It just does not, the app does not recognize it. It's, you know, and I can go on for days doing this, but I'll be honest with you. The only compatibility uh, that the Ronin S and the Ronin SE have with the Raven Eye is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what the instructions say, man. I've tried different combinations. I've, I've had uh, different combinations with the, with the camera settings and stuff like that. Nothing seems to work. I can't get it to work. If you guys can get it to work, hey, let me know in the comments. But you can use the Raven Eye through the DJI, through the DJI app. You can connect the Raven Eye to your camera via an HDMI. And that RSS cable doesn't seem to do anything for the matter. But um, I've tried different combinations with this. But yes, you can use the Raven Eye for a wireless monitoring system if you want to. And that's actually a really uh, plausible way to use this, you know, from a distance or something like that. Very, very good tool, uh, especially when you get to eliminate the wires connecting the camera or the Raven Eye to the tablet or phone. So that's, that's a huge use. So yes, it's compatible with your camera. It's not necessarily compatible with the gimbal. It's, I don't know. <laughs> I've tried different combinations. Maybe it's just Sony. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea, but let me know in the comments if you figure something out. Maybe I'll make another video about it. But as far as I know, this is what you're gonna get. Compatibility from Raven, Raven Eye to camera for wireless monitor use via tablet or phone. Zero compatibility from the uh, the Raven Eye to the Ronin S or Ronin SC, and that also they also show it in the uh, in the instructions. Let me show you this. So if you really want to get down to it, man, even in the instructions they have you using the RSC RSC two and the RSC with the um, with the Raven Eye right here in these two scenarios. In scenario C, we have it in use with the camera. You mount it to your camera and that looks like a Sony A7 series right there. Then you plug your HDMI and RSS into the camera and into the Raven Eye and that is how you use it for wireless monitoring. So that's it, man. Done that video. How long was this? This was 11 minutes of <laughs> telling you how to do this. Either way, man, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff. I just wanted to put out a video because I had the questions and I know you guys have the same questions. So I figured I'd, you know, get them out there in public for you guys to see. Uh, if you want to use the active track, you're going to have to get the newer latest RSC gimbals because that's what this was actually designed for. 
uh, as far as active track goes if all you want is a wireless monitoring system just get it man it's, it's definitely worth the money i saw zero latency and it, it seems to be a pretty good tool but uh other than that i gotta get out of here and go make some more videos keep being good to each other and i'll see you when i see you whoa 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 let me get this straight you sat through this whole video the whole thing and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button man it'd be the ones closest to you i'll see how you are Is that why you are here?